Merry Christmas. It's tinker time. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, show Sister Linda how to set up uh, raspberry pie for Christmas. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> what I got here is... Uh, inexperience with videos but I'll do the best I can this is a VGA plug which is what this monitor that I found in the trash is from and we'll plug that in <clears throat> and on the other side of it is a HDMI cable. So you can get an adapter cable. Uh, Walmart sells the adapters and the VGA HDMI adapter. Okay, what I got here is I got a USB stick for memory. I got a uh, Wi-Fi dongle. I've got a uh, wireless USB dongle for keyboard and mouse. You just plug these in. <clears throat> plug all them in. Uh, now for your first Wi-Fi setup, you're going to want to get a... Uh, cable to fit in there it's a it's a uh, uh, shoot I forget the name of it but anyhow you can look that up on the internet once you get hooked up you can look up anything on the internet here's a mini USB that plugs in there and then I got it now make sure you got enough amps. It's in real tiny writing there. I used a iPhone uh, power converter to get my power for the USB Pi. Okay, I, I bought a case for it. This is the Raspberry Pi 2. And uh, so I think we're set. Here we go. We're going to turn that on. Now, while we're waiting for it to boot up, this little SD card, it's a micro SD card. You can buy one from the Raspberry Pi shop, number of places. And it plugs in like that. I hope you can see that okay. This uh, one started to overheat, so I put a uh, heat sink on it. I'm going to put a fan on it and see if that cures it. I was running Cody Media Center on that one. Okay, we're booted up here. What I want to show you is uh, Libra Office. Now, I loaded this on here with sudo apt get Libra Office, which I typed that in here in the uh, LX terminal. They got a little icon up here that you you can uh, put programming commands in. So here's your menu bar. You don't have to. You can you can uh, 
look at all this stuff, open it up and learn about it. To connect to the internet, you're going to go up to this icon over here and click on it and then you'll type in your your internet network and password. Okay, so like I say, I loaded uh, <clears throat> LibreOffice in here. It's kind of like Microsoft Office. It's got it's got a spreadsheet like Excel. It's got a drawing program. It's got a uh, uh, LibreOffice Impress. You can make slideshows and stuff like that with it. So you can make a presentation with this. But the big plus on this is the word writer. Now I put a bunch of tutorials on here that I downloaded from LibreOffice.org. So you just click on this icon over here and then you you've got a tutorial here on each each different suite of the uh, office. But to get started on uh, just uh, typing in letters, stuff like that, you go to your office, it'll open up this window and click on LibreOffice Writer. So it'll open up this page here for you and you can just, you know, type. Type whatever. I don't know if you can see that. So, once you type that letter in, you want to save it. So, save as. And then, uh, you want to know what your the name of your USB is. This one's UUI. So, I've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. But anyhow... You can store it on your USB stick. That way you don't take up too much memory on your operating system card, your micro US, your micro SD card. So you create a folder. You type in the name of it. Return. And then you save, save your uh, document in there. So there it is, saved. So now, you close that, X, X in the top right corner, or go to the file and drop down and it'll say exit. So then, to shut down, you want to bring up your menu, click shut down, and then it'll give you a, a choice here. Usually it automatically goes to shut down and then you say okay. So then it'll shut down. So uh, then you can turn your power off. I use a power strip for the monitor and the power supply. So we're going to boot back up again.
while we're waiting here, I don't know if you noticed this over here, but this is Don Robotics. I want to thank Alan for all of his help building my little robot over here. I should turn it on so he can communicate with the collective, my collective, you know, <laughs> Borgenheimer. <laughs> okay, we're booted up again. Like I say, uh, this is your inexpensive uh, desktop. I got this, it was set out for the trash, the wireless keyboard and mouse, is like 20 bucks at uh, Best Buy or Walmart. Uh, let's see. So, okay, you did some work. Uh, say you did some work on uh, the Office Writer, and now you want to open up that file again. So you go to your Office Writer. Now that uh, Excel... Uh, spreadsheet type of, of deal is pretty nice because you can do all kinds of add add uh, calculations and all kinds of stuff. So that's a good good one to learn in in conjunction with this um, writer, the writer. So now you want to find that file. So we opened up the file box here by going to file and dropping down the menu and and clicking on it and here it says UUI again that's my uh, USB name the name of the USB and we made a, a new folder what did we name it well I guess it wasn't we, it was me. <laughs> so we named it name. <laughs> and then uh, there you go. That's how you open up your, your uh, paper that you were working on in the writer program. Okay, I hope uh, that was clear to you. If you've got any questions, you can... Uh, Email me at philtrue at yahoo.com. That's P-H-I-L-T-R-E-U. And I think that's... Oh, say you don't know the name of your USB stick. If you go to the file manager icon up here and click on it, it'll show a directory tree. And you go down to the bottom of that, and there will be a little file, picture of a file, an icon. You click on that, and scroll down, and it'll say media. You click on the media, and it'll bring up Pi, and then it'll bring up settings, and then it'll have a, a file icon for your USB memory. So mine says UUI. If you buy a different one, it'll say whatever the name of that is. So that way you can find the name of your, your USB memory stick. And then when, when if you want to unplug it while your Pi is on, you go over to the right here. Now this is a uh, Raspbian. This this operating system is Raspbian and it comes with this little icon over here already. And see it says the name of my uh, USB stick, SanDisk Cruiser Glide UUI. And the UUI is the, is the shortened name. So if you wanted to unplug that while you are running and then plug in a different one, you want to click on here and it says, okay, SanDisk 
cruiser glide has been ejected. So that means you can unplug it now. Plug in a different one. It comes up, open it in a file manager, it asks you, and there it is. So that's another easy way to get to it and find out what the name of it is. So that's where it is in your tree. It's under media, pi, UUI. So there you go. Merry Christmas, everybody. We're going to shut down here and thanks again.